Welcome to Safe Conveyor. Today I'd like to discuss our incline conveyors. We manufacture these in a different length of you know starting angles or infeed, different heights and different angles. But basically when you're trying to get a quote or you're setting a layout for an infeed conveyor, you really want to start out by first defining at what point you're going to drop off. So here's a, a low profile, about four or five inches. And then you'd have one maybe a little bit higher, so we'd have a leg on it. That was about 10 inches. And then as you carry it uphill, the next thing you're going to want to look at is just about how high up you want to go. So this particular model has a, an 84 inch long section at 45 degrees, and they're getting it up to about 60 inches for the drop. Maybe they're feeding it into a, a Gaylord trying to get in, more into the middle. So that's at 45 degrees. Now you can also go up to 60. You gotta watch out for fallback as you get tip more tipping as you go into a higher angle. And you could do a 30, which would stretch this out and it may only be about four feet tall at that height. Now some people want a bit smaller height, they might be dropping it onto a table. So this is a smaller unit. It's only about a five foot section going uphill. And again, it has a stand. This will be shipped with the stand folded. And then you bring it, swing it out, lock it down, you'd have your levelers. They're all variable speed. So this particular model here is operating. It's kind of hard to see that speed controller. But it's operating at 10 feet per minute. They want to go very, very slow on this particular model. You can have one that goes faster. We can go up to uh, 250 feet per minute. <laughs> They're throwing things in the air. This one's not turned on. I'll turn it on. So this one here is operating at about 40 feet per minute. So you, this is how you're going to drop. You're going to carry it up to the top and you can see that we're going to be bringing things over the top. Now if you, if you try to move something that's long and it gets near the top, this is the thing people forget about is that if something's resting on this belt and it starts to come around this corner, the front end is going to start to drop down and the back end is going to lift up and it may fall back. So you have to have something with much taller flights. We can order taller flights, but it gets much more pricey because it's not our belting, it's a purchase belting. And there are issues with the purchase belting. And uh, you would have to also start to extend the flights outside of the frame. So as you can see on this model, and all of our one inch high flighted models, the belting travels all the way back to the beginning within the frame. So you don't have flights hanging down, which would get hit if there were going to be a box underneath there, they'd start banging into the box. So having it inside is a much safer system. One inch high, carry a lot of types of products. They're not really for moving boxes uphill, they're really for moving small parts. You might have like a molding machine, and you'd have parts going into the conveyor, and it might fall into a bin, so you'd have the parts sitting in a bin. Now you'd say, well, I have to keep dumping the bin, well, you put a conveyor under there, something like this, you fall onto that, carry them uphill. Now they could fall into a Gaylord, and maybe you don't have to change it, but you could run it all night, fill the bin. So that's the type of application where you get into, where you have a conveyor that's going to carry something uphill and get under a piece of equipment. They will knock down for shipping, they'll separate at the joint, belt unsnaps, and you get it, you bolt that back together thread the belt over the drive on the, on the top and uh, set your legs out and you're ready to go. Pretty simple, you, go, you ship UPS in two boxes, same as this model here. We try to keep limit the, um, the lengths to eight feet on the incline section, we don't make them any taller. And the bottom section can also be eight feet. So you could, you could build an eight foot into an eight foot if that's what you want to do. Most people want to have a small section at the bottom just to get it under a piece of equipment. And it's easier to drop it onto a flat section than dropping it like right onto the incline where we'd start to immediately go back. This one's running very slow. I think they're running a part per minute. So it's only running at 10 feet per minute. That one's running at 40 feet per minute. So if you're looking for an incline conveyor, you may have the opportunity to work with you and quote something. These are the types of dimensions that we'd be looking for. Thanks for watching.